new CSGO Pro tips and tricks that will make you fire aka a better player by knowing another portion of fresh details around different currently official maps. Here's Cadian getting run boosted on the newest map Ancient to go for this extra quick mid peak towards B side of the map. That's how it goes, Chopper could enjoy this round's freeze time longer than the actual round before going out from it. The run boost at middle is indeed a huge time win over the solo push towards the same place, so just remember that in theory a CT could peak B long from cat extra extra fast. Next up a very useful Molotov from Fallen's POV. In this round, it was ruined because T side threw a smoke in the bomb side to 100% secure their plant. But if you get loosely goosely in the middle and on top of those stairs, plus aim a bit right from the top part of this metal shelf, then a left click throw, you would molly off most of the bomb side, so enemies would need to smoke it, or you deny their plant for around six or so seconds. The lineup is genius because since the shelf is pretty close to you. Even if they would throw a weird deep heaven smoke, the lineup will still work and that's what makes it such a useful fire to have in your arsenal. Now a word from today's sponsor Steel Series Moments. If you want to clip your fabulous moments in the game, why not even a new trick in CSGO? That's one way to do it. Easy to use and fast sharing to Discord plus YouTube etc. You could set up the very automatic capture of headshots, triple and single kills, so you'd never forget to record your amazing moments. It even nicely works with ECA and face it. After getting those nasty clips, you could edit them plus add some GIFs and captions with ease. That's not all, but time is money, so click the link in the video description and feel free to try moments out now. Oh my God. Next up, Axile's POV. If you feel enemies might have pushed B-Shirt tons close to outside monster, you can throw an easy back against the wall left click flash to possibly full blind them and push them back a little. Demo visuals aren't always accurate, but here you can see that it works and you have a chance to adjust the distance a bit depending on whether the flash does a quick bounce before it pops or has a fully clean trajectory, which makes it to go a bit further. Here's Siphon with a cool retake smoke at Vertigo A. Pretty self-explanatory, easy to line it up and it nicely smokes off A short. Why not to use the same lineup with other nades? Or why not to click the like button to show me that I shouldn't quit making those pro trick videos? All right, enters on Dust 2, B bomb site with an interesting behind the car spot that a bit ruins your chances to headshot your opponent, but at the same time gives your head plus body an amazing cover. And also, with an angle like that, you're covering door plus window at the same time, so it's surely a strong position as long as you can survive here. Although, keep in mind that this position isn't that uncommon among pros, as I saw plenty of other top level players holding the very same angle. Next up Neofrag, firstly this quick little flash that they bounce off from the wall to make pushing CT's life a bit harder and then later into the round, this close to connector door throwing position, then on top of the post aiming spot and the simple left click will give you a nice rotation heaven smoke result, quick plus clean. The next seconds you wanna hang with Tizian, he lines himself up with this white dot on the wall, aims at this white unknown bowl on top of the building plus jump throws, that's your default short smoke thrown from close T spawn. But like a true top shop advertisement, that's not all, from the same starting position, but different, this time at the wall aiming spot, combined with a run plus jump throw, would give you a much more interesting result, smoke bounces a couple of times and finally pops on the boost box, giving your team a nice little one way when they are approaching to A plat, if you'd practice this smoke a bit, it'll become as consistent as you meeting a cheater in CSGO's matchmaking and you should know that when the situation is shit, a future can be nothing but brighter. Here in two Romanian teams battle, I saw Nexus Xello's improvised smoke to go under the truck and it made me think whether it's possible to do something with this knowledge. In theory, you could get your molly stuck under the truck and maybe go for some one-way molotovs, but they didn't look that promising. Although one thing that could be useful is a flashbang through the truck, so hug this wall edge as left as possible. Then aim at the bottom part of this black rectangle and kinda in the middle of this stone plus a wall. Then simply a left click throw, flash goes under the truck to the opposite side of it, meaning that it won't blind your teammates, as truck will cover most of the angles except the throwing angle, but it will be kinda whitening for many many CT spawn side players. 
feel free to implement this in some of your tactics. MDS with a retake smoke for vertigo A site, wall hug position combined with ceiling metal post corner aiming spot, then a left click throw, and it gives you a slow but steady smoke to cover ramp and tier 4 on the paper, give you more room to work with, plus get out onto A site. He follows it up with a cool flash that pops right behind the site box without blinding your side, but only opposite side of bomb site. But in this round, Gambit was at great close counter positions for the smoke and flash to give any big effect. Next up, Kenzie with a great fake flash from long to short. 242.5 IQ as this $200 investment towards short made both opponents worry more about short and long. Unfortunately for Kenzie, he couldn't convert it into a round W. Here's a casual two-man tower behind a side box on Inferno by Stiko and company. Sadly, no action this round, but the head position is still as hippie as visiting a thrift shop once. Two Brazilian teams against each other on Vertigo, we are in Cases POV, who shows us an interesting wallbang line with AWP. As you could see, he headshot a bulldog through the wall, which resulted in 57 completely free damage points to him. Whenever you try to go for the same op wallbang, keep in mind that when you go too much right, your bullet won't make it through the wall, as the wall at right is way heavier. Awesome as that though. Toilet smoke with a more of an uncommon throwing position by Buster, a corner stuck spot and make sure you're standing up there, aim with your view models, plus a left click throw. Easy, like winning a major without simple in your team. Next up, Farlig hugs this post like it was his partner, stands up and aims at the ladder, then jump throws and the result is gonna be a good old garage smoke. All right, after this entry kill, you can see Stewie here climbing on my current YouTube views, I mean trash box, and continuously holds this rather fresh angle to catch people coming out from B apps off guard. That's why they call him Stewie 2K, because this was another round where he ended up with a 2K. And we move on in completely other league with Lollipop 21K. He gets in the sandbags corner, aims at the place where salaries are even higher than the working office itself, plus jump throws. Smoke takes more time to land than for Usain Bolt finishing 100 meters, but sometimes the late smokes are exactly what you need. We're gonna continue from Stiko's POV and he's here to teach you a graveyard lineup to keep you as hidden as possible, hide well, seek better. If you crouch in this corner like Pank and aim at the right top spot at this window, plus a jump throw, it'll give you a cool, deep, outside monster smoke that should make T's life there a bit awkward, especially if they're meant to hold monster alone, it will surely make their heart rate go up at least plus 20, and therefore they burn more calories, a total win-win for both sides. Here's Seiko and Nuke with a rather unseen position close to a window room, he crouches in this corner, which gives you an OP angle that's kinda hidden from an enemy side, just have a look at this crouching shoulder, because that's all you're gonna see here. And Valdi totally fell for the trap, as he thought his shoulder is peaceful. Awesome stuff, make sure your back is nicely covered, and why not to abuse this spot in your future games. Carrigan and Ancient presents his walk jump throw smoke that he likes to do more often than we all hit our little toes at the edge of the wall whenever we try to be fast. Next up, Luca Ozzy's POV with a simple nade plus molotov for the Xbox. Surely something that could come handy in your future Dust 2 games, simply aim a bit beneath the top round area and walk plus jump throw, it does the work. We're gonna continue with a high IQ play from Nafani. They know they killed one AK from Banana and when it's not close to the body, it's probably dropped outside of the map. That's indeed the case here and they don't have a nade in their hands to bring it back, but in this round angles work out for them, plus they are able to shoot the AK back a bit closer to the car, so Nefony can pick it up, which results in two AKs saved instead of one, 
a big brain save, but not so big brain weapon drop. For the future, if you'd quickly want to drop a weapon out from banana, so it's hard to nade them back into playable zone, and therefore harder to pick them up in general, then drop weapons into this pocket, it's rather complicated to even see the weapons there, no one can simply pick them up, and it's way way harder to nade them out, not impossible though. You must have seen this following 4 man tower on overpass, but most likely never in a pistol round, so enjoy! Super General Next up Pietola's POV on Nuke, he's the ramp player, does a casual smoke plus nade combo, but then also has an interesting Molotov lineup that goes behind that smoke and makes it surely harder for opponents to wait slash hold the smoke down nearby it. Also, if there would be plenty of players holding this smoke, this molly would probably damage someone and therefore give nice early info for CT side. If you're one of those guys who still struggles to molly car properly on Inferno, then remember this effortless balcony edge lineup and you're good for the rest of your banana life. Again Pietola, this time in a clutch action, let's see what he does here. 200 IQ play, Pietola fake jumped at heaven to make it sound like he fell down to A and it worked flawlessly, here's the same situation from Fesser's POV. Not bad, like my full CSGO Pro Tricks playlist that should be on your screens now, where there are tens of videos and in total surely more than 600 different CSGO Pro tips and tricks 